Well, it seems that increasing numbers of people are getting concerned about the job loss effects of this fourth industrial revolution, the rise of the robots. The latest I see, <laughs> as diverse as Joseph Matunjwa, the president of the Association of Mine Workers and Construction Union, AMCU, and uh, Pravin Gordon, the um, finance minister, both of them saying something must be done about this job loss problem with the rise of the robots. But these statements are made within the generally accepted context that the way out of this present economic crisis is greater productivity and economic growth. Well, I'm sorry, but I think that this is quite ridiculous. Because you see, the cause of the crisis, the fundamental cause of the economic crisis we face at the moment is the fact that we have greater productivity, too much productivity, too much capacity to produce, and that's because largely of the technological advances we've made. But of course, it has had advantages. There has been an increase in growth, in economic growth, in productivity, but it's gone to a tiny minority of the population. The rich, putting it bluntly, are simply getting richer. And what this has done, it's created an ever-widening pool, I think, of hungry, desperate and angry people. And we're seeing the emergence of affluent islands, very highly protected affluent islands in a turbulent sea of basically discarded humanity. So this has led to growing calls, particularly within the labor movement, to some sort of way of radically altering, transforming the political, social and economic uh, system. But these calls fall on deaf ears for those who actually benefit greatly from the system. And that, that is the same minority, the rich minority, who have been getting richer. They seem to be memorized by the illusion that greater productivity, economic growth can go on forever within the existing system. And they do all in their power to persuade everyone that this is possible. The latest mantra, because people are becoming increasingly cynical about more regulation, less regulation, a bit of privatization, a bit of nationalization, whatever, they haven't worked. So now they've come up with the fourth manufacturing revolution, which is based on the idea of the new technology, such as 3D printing, etc., bringing back, bringing home all that manufacturing that has been outsourced so far to countries such as China, Vietnam, Turkey, Bangladesh, whatever. And it's, it's quite seductive when you think about it. Look, we're going to bring back this manufacturing. But once again, it's based on the same false premise. False because the whole problem is the system itself of productivity and growth within a minority system based on accumulation and based on competition. Anyway, that will be the focus of my Inside Labour column this week, which you can uh, access on this platform, Fin24, tomorrow, and a version of which will appear in the City Press business section on Sunday. Until then, over to you. Comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever, to editor at fin24.com. And I repeat it again, editor at fin24.com. And for this week, that's all from me. Cheers.